This is the Cannondale Super 6 Evo high mod of newly crowned world champion Elisa Balsamo. I'm going to take you through the spec of the bike, pick out all the cool details, then I'm going to measure it, weigh it and do a free up sound check. As is to be expected for a world champion, we have a beautiful rainbow band paint scheme on a gloss white frame. And it looks absolutely amazing if you ask me. There are even matching world champ details on the wheels and saddle. Paired up to the disc frame set are Vision Metron 40 carbon wheels. These feature external spoke nipples to help make the mechanics job easier should any wheels need a bit of attention, especially after the brutal cobbles of Paris-Roubaix. These wheels are the tubular version with Veloflex Pro Tour tyres in a 25mm width. Interestingly, Elisa has specced her bike with 140mm rotors front and rear. This is something we've seen a few of the women pro riders do and it could be due to the fact they're generally a little bit lighter than the men who tend to opt for a 160mm rotor on the front wheel. Elisa runs a Shimano XT mountain bike rotor on the front and an Ultegra rotor on the rear. We can see the difference here in the cooling fins for each one. The bike is built up using Shimano Ultegra, which might come as a surprise for some people, but that's the equipment that the team have been using all season and clearly is good enough to become world champion on. This is the DI2 hydraulic disc brake version and has the junction port mounted on the down tube with a very bling carbon faceplate. At the center of the bike, we have an FSA power box chain set. This uses carbon crank arms that are 170 millimeters long. The chain rings are 3652 and Elisa uses Look Keo Classic carbon pedals. At the rear of the bike, we have an 11 to 32 tooth cassette offering a wide range of gears to suit almost all terrains. The rear mech hanger is anodized bright purple and really stands out on the bike because it's much more substantial than most that we see. This allows the rear mech to be mounted directly onto it and is also CNC machined. A small detail, but a very cool one if you ask me. Moving forward and up on the bike, we can see a subtle name sticker on the seat stays, also showing that this is her race bike. The frame uses a hologram SL carbon seat post that's unique to the Super 6 frame set and features that D-shaped aero profile. It holds her race number holder using a plastic mount and rubber band. Simple, but effective. Keeping Elisa comfy on the bike is a Prologo NDR saddle. This uses a carbon infused base and metal rails. It's cool to see even more rainbow bands here running down the central groove of the saddle and you'd expect nothing less as current world champion. As we jump to the front of the bike, we see a very unique feature here. And this is Elisa's custom headset top cap, which has a teddy bear image on the top. I can't say I've seen that before, but it's a nice touch, I guess. The bar and stem is a two-piece design from Cannondale and uses a different mounting interface for the bar and stem compared to most brands. The bars are hologram save and the stem is the save knot system. The stem is 100 millimeters long and the bars are 38 centimeters wide. These also route the brake hoses and DI2 cables internally to the frame at the head tube. There is an out the front mount to hold her head unit and display all of the stats that she requires. And down on the fork leg, we can see her race timing chip. Finishing the bike off is fresh white Prologo bar tape and Elite's custom race plus bottle cages. The measurements of the bike are as follows. The saddle height is 71.5 centimeters. The nose of the saddle to the center of the bars is 56.5 centimeters and the saddle to bar drop is 10 centimeters. On the unofficial GCN Scales of Truth, this bike weighs in at 7.84 kilograms. Not super light, but I guess this really highlights how weight isn't everything. Let's get this wheel up to speed, check out the free up sound. Ooh, quite quiet really. So there you have it, the bike of Elisa Balsamo, the current women's world champion. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you think of the bike in the comments section down below. And for more cool pro bikes like this, subscribe to GCM Racing.